Um, also, just want to remind everybody, and this is just really for now, um, that when I do ask for a consensus, I'm looking for basically consensus that all of us agree there's no objection. Uh, and typically that's for administrative, more administrative, uh, nothing that we just bring up as a something to vote on. So consensus would be uh, uh, for now. Like I said, that's the way that's the way we're we're handling things. So that would be unanimous. The other. Commission, um, just so that we work together, grow together. Um, I would just suggest and ask if any of you would would uh, agree and like to make a motion. But um, I'd ask that we suspend the rules for the ordinance number 2016-04, uh, particularly as it pertains to the time limit and the number of times a commissioner may speak, and allowing the mayor to use discretion. Um, so I just to get us through this meeting we have some very important issues on here with the ordinances and so on so if uh, if somebody would like to make a motion to that effect we can entertain it Commissioner or Vice Mayor Karras I'll move to suspend the rules uh, for all items on the agenda I'll second it okay um, before I put that out, suspend the rules of ordinance number 2016-04 as it pertains to all uh, items, all items, not just that ordinance, all items. Okay, I just need some clarity on that. I mean, I, it would apply to the whole meeting Correct. agenda? So in other words, there's no, no time limit, no point of order, no point of questioning. It's just, let's have a real meeting. Okay, so so just for clar just for clarity in that motion, as I said, it's it's what you're you're moving is to suspend the rules of ordinance number twenty sixteen. Correct. Yes, zero four, as it pertains to the time limits and all and, the above. And speaking on all items of this agenda. You got it. You got it. And I have a second, second. by um, Commissioner McDowell. Okay. Does any. Good morning again. Good morning. Connie Bruni, taxpayer in Northport. I think Commissioner McDowell said it the other day. Saturday we celebrated. Today we get to work. Mm -hmm. Actually, Monday, I'm sure you were working on Sunday. I have five items I'm hoping to bring in front of you. Uh, the first is that already Vice Mayor Carasone has addressed in her comment, which I appreciate. The debate, open debate, true debate, often needs more time than five minutes or a specific time period in order for all of you to be able to make proper informed decisions. And I hope that you will allow one another that respect, mutual respect, to get that done. I'm very happy that you have suspended the rules for today and I hope that you will look at that. You've already indicated you will, that's awesome. Number two, since the charter amendment did pass, I would like to ask Mr. Moriarty to inform the commission and the public what other provisions of the charter, aside from those explicitly specified in the ballot language, he intends to change or modify. Number three, I would love to have the commission consider adding an extra meeting. Seems like sometimes the agendas are very constrained, so I'd love to see you add an extra meeting a month, perhaps when there is a fifth Tuesday in the month. So it's not every month, it's not all the time, but at least sometimes you have the opportunity to have that extra meeting. Just something to think about. Um, I think the minute should reflect the name and topic of all public comments. It just simply says public comments on the minutes. That doesn't give you the opportunity for good follow-up when you've got comments that have been made. And then number fifth, something near and dear to my heart. On 6-19-14, a fully executed letter of engagement and contract for legal services appeared on the agenda without any commission direction to do so in public. Regardless of the impropriety, my opinion thereof, the contract passed for an indefinite period of time and remains in effect today. Mr. Robinson, then city attorney, told the commission, quote, you may have a contract with Nelson Hesse, but 
Your contract is really with me. I'm the center of that universe, and wherever I go, this goes. I believe Robinson is presently at Kirk Pinkerton Law Firm. Our in-house city attorney has been here for more than two years now, and I believe it's time to cancel that contract officially. I'm asking the commission to review it and potentially bring that back on an agenda to cancel it officially. Okay, thank you. And the final card that I have is Does anybody want to speak to that? I plan on bringing up a uh, amended ordinance later when under commission comment to bring up in the December meeting that has a uh, complete underlying strike through version of the ordinance for uh, the meetings. So I will bring that up later. Okay. Thank you. All right. So all right. Seems like we are all on the same page with this and I will do my best and please know anytime any of you feel that it's time to stop. You have Robert's rules to say what's called a question, and we'll we'll deal with that. So so this board has the ability to be included in, at, as we move through this meeting. That, let's uh, take a vote on that motion. Okay, and that passes unanimously. <laughs>